Let's look at options for a case study project in e-commerce site design. When we look at Amazon, um, it's easy for us to look at the clutter and how much um, how they have links that are sort of disorganized. Um, right now we're in the Kindle department and I'm going to go back to the main section. Now, Amazon does a lot with a little space. And as we look at this, we see some wasted space and we see other things that are problems. The problem with Amazon is that the business model is so good that everybody uses them. A case study um, could make headway though for your portfolio if you were to point out how this giant does certain things wrong and they, they definitely do. And part of it is because they are so gargantuan. Um, if we look here, why is this not flush to the top, this bottom footer? It, the user has to scroll more than they should. It's almost like they're hiding this for search engine reasons, but search engines already know about Amazon, and Amazon doesn't need to run a clean SEO campaign. Amazon, quite frankly, doesn't care about a lot of things because they know they're going to get their, your business anyway. The same goes for eBay. They're very, very similar business models, and the same is even for Craigslist. It's all about organization and getting your things quickly. So an analysis of these things would say, how quickly can I get something? Um, let's say I look for something so unique in Rapaho ceremonial tunic. One of the things we get when we look at this is, what do they offer instead? And I'm going to make sure I spell it. There we go. So um, we get all the other tunics. Anyway, it's all about distribution on the search for Amazon and eBay. So that could be a good case study. There's other opportunities. What about the little guy who does well? Here's an example. BusDepot.com. This site, it's easy to sit and criticize its design. We see an image at the top that's sort of pushed down. It looks like it was done uh, by a very amateur type of uh, coder or designer. And this thing is your logo. It shouldn't be compressed like this into that section. So what we have an, is an open source shopping cart that actually does really well. How does it do well? Again, it's all about categories and searches. I, did, I discovered this because I have a, an old bus that's, uh, that I actually drive, a 72, and constantly in need of repair and parts. But when I look at certain things inside here, they get it to a point where you're not looking at something that doesn't apply. So a couple of things that are real solid about this that keep me coming back, and there are plenty of sites that do this, are my ability to find things. I can log in and add vehicles to my garage, but as far as speed, I can look at anything here and get it quickly. Um, granted, this is an open source shopping cart. I believe it's OS Commerce or Open Cart. But the fact is that I get things super fast. If I were, for example, to type in cylinder and search, would you like to limit this search to this? Yes, I would. The fact that that happened is a big deal, and now I get my result. So this site, not designed well, still does some things well, but it's a great opportunity for you to, and you see the search took a little while there, to, to dissect what's good and what's bad and get a real good feel about e-commerce through mid to low level shopping carts like this. And I, I know these guys make a lot, you know how you can tell that they're a successful site is because when you call them, they have plenty of product. Um, that means they're stacking up, getting ready to sell a lot. And although I don't have uh, true statistics, um, I also know that they have a, a real good relationship with their shipper, which means they're getting things out of the door quickly. So that's a, a superb um, topic for an e-commerce site. Another one which I think is a sort of a slam dunk is a big site, a big company, Fry's Electronics. Uh, brick and mortar is what we call it when they have an online presence and an uh, on-ground presence. And Fry's, just looking at this, if you're new to this, give yourself a task. Ask yourself to find 
let's say, uh, a video game system. And you'll see how long it takes to go scan this uh, nav, and the way it's stacked is sort of difficult. Now, put this in a mobile site like this, and what do you see? Nearly impossible. Um, so that's this is a target that's somewhat easy, but the case study is going to have to be long because there is, quite frankly, a lot wrong with this this site. It's sort of hard to believe that an entity as big as Fry's does things like this, where it offers a lot of good functionality, but it's so much in such a finite area that it's almost difficult to click on. And you can imagine what it would be like if I were to view this in a tablet. So those are three possible options. You can get the giant, the giant Amazon eBay. You can get the fries, where it's clearly a big site, but sort of messed up with a lot of opportunity. Or you can get the little guy that does things well, but maybe doesn't design well. So those are three options.